My name is Rebecca Dybel and I'm the manager of the Research Outputs and Impact Team at the University of Queensland Library. My team provides specialised metric support for researchers applying for grants. I'm joined today by my colleague Jeanette Williams, who works as an outreach librarian in the Faculty Services Librarian team. We will be presenting on the metrics support our teams collectively pro provided for the Australian Research Council Discovery Project Round at the beginning of 2024. Before we proceed, we would like to acknowledge the tradi traditional owners and their custodianship of the lands on which we meet today and pay our respects to their ancestors and their descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connections to country. We used a different support model for the ARC Discovery Round in 2024 due to a major change by the ARC and how this round would operate compared to previous years. Our research office advised that due to there being an initial expression of interest round, they would expect around 400 plus applications, where, each, where in each application, applicants would be required to fill in the research opportunity and performance evidence section of the grant, where relevant metrics evidence could be included. For this reason, we made the decision with research office support and endorsement to make changes to the support we would usually offer research applying for UQ-led grants so that the model was sustainable and de deliverable at scale. The support we provided focused on providing effective self-help and delivering training materials that were tailored to the requirements of this particular scheme. We decided to not provide any metrics reports for this round, which we offer for other grant schemes, to ensure that we could support as many researchers as possible. My team led the development of a tailored library guide specifically aimed at researchers applying for this scheme and in, which it included instructions on how to obtain relevant evidence and tips for identifying their top 10 publications. We also delivered a single online training session, which was recorded and the link promoted via the library guide. We also offered two drop-in sessions where the librarian team provided assistance. Additionally, we had an extensive example statement bank of metric stance statements accessible only to UQ researchers and this was distributed to applicants who requested this. We also developed a three-part communication plan where communication around the support we were offering to researchers applying for this round was delivered via our, our research office website, our library website, including a blog post, and through our outreach librarians to their key contacts in faculties, schools, and institutes. We also had standard text to respond to clients who inquired about the support we were offering. Our Faculty Services Librarian team promoted support to key senior stakeholders in schools, faculties and institutes and also responded to individual inquiries. The new model provided the opportunity for researchers to develop new skills. We found that many researchers simply needed a refresh of previous metrics. Encouraging them to use our existing tools, such as Scival templates, gave them the information they needed for this round and also metric skills for the future. The advantage of the flip model of support, together with offering a scalable and sustainable solution, was that applicants could target the specific metrics they needed to develop their own unique supporting statements and we could provide advice about context. In the past, when we supplied complete reports, we felt that only a subset of the information was used. Researchers understood the increased demand for metric services during the new submission process and also our team's capacity to manage this workload. Our specialised guide was viewed more than 1,600 times during the three-month period from January to March 2024. Anecdotal feedback told us that researchers valued the tailored guide and at one of my school research committee meetings, the chairperson told the group how useful it was in providing guidance for gathering metrics. 55 researchers enrolled in training and received our recording. Our team experienced reduced demand for consultations for this round due to the centralised sessions offered by our research outputs and impact team. This new process has been a really effective collaboration between our teams. The research outputs and impact team have deep metrics expertise, while my team has the key relationships to promote the range of support. The discovery project round was a good test case for the new support model, as most applicants were familiar with the metrics they were seeking and also the grant process. Due to the success of this model, 
our teams are planning a similar collaborative approach for future rounds. We will continue to refine our processes to most effectively support our researchers' grant endeavours, equipping them to both understand the metrics options available to them and also how best to showcase their research. Thank you and we look forward to hearing your feedback and questions.